Hello, everybody. I think I'm recording. The, the words aren't showing up on the screen, so I can't tell if it's recording or not. Anyway, as you can see, I have some crutches. Guess what? I got injured. Yay. Yay me. Um, it's kind of a bizarre thing. The job I do, we travel around. We meet at one location on like usually Monday afternoons. And then we travel to a location, which will be kind of our central place for a hotel. And then we, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, go to different Walmarts to do inventory. Well, Wednesday, I was a little bit sore, but it was raining. I've got arthritis anyway, so I figured it's just that, right? Thursday, I was hurting more. And it was kind of in my left hip, which is kind of odd because my arthritis is in the right hip, both knees, both ankles. So I, we were like, you know, what's going on here? So I'm at work doing the thing. We, when I do soft lines, which is the clothing. And in infants especially, there's a bunch of tables. And you got to get down on the floor and get to get the bottom shelf of the tables. If you've ever been in a Walmart, I'm sure you've seen them. They're in, like, all of the clothing departments, but there's a ton of them in infants. I almost fell. I kind of fell over, but I didn't, like, fall fall when I was trying to get up from one of the tables. My knee just kind of was wobbly and kind of gave out. My hip was hurt. And I was miserable. But I was fine. I got up. I moved on to the next table and so on and so on. By the time lunchtime came around, my hip hurt so bad I could barely walk, let alone, you know, stand and do the job. So I, it took almost 15 minutes to get from the back of the store to the front of the store to where they have a subway. We were getting some lunch. So I'm sitting there almost in tears because I hurt so bad. And we got my boss to come in and talk to me. And she's like, well, we can't let you just go sit in the van like we normally would because luggage and stuff is in there since it's go home day on Thursday and it's to protect you and everybody else. We don't want somebody to find something missing and then start accusing everybody that they stole it. And I said, yeah, I understand that. So what they did was they got a chair out of the back and let me work on racks where I could sit at, on a chair and, and still do it. Fine. Until I got into the women's department. The chair thing lasted through boys and like women's sleepwear. They didn't have me do actual intimates like the bras and underwear and socks stuff. They had me in the sleepwear because those are on regular racks and I wouldn't have to like be bending over to get to them. And since my hip was hurting, which is great, we got over into women and I made it down the first row of women's and we were starting to come back the next row and the one associate from Walmart, she was phenomenal. I wish I could remember her name. She was phenomenal. She was helping me so much. Well, I was turning the chair from one rack to the other so I could sit back down. I landed on my ass. I was flat on my back on the floor in the women's department in Walmart. Absolutely embarrassed because I fell, right? Not that I could do anything about it. My knee just said, enough's enough, and boom, I was on the floor. Got myself up, got in the chair, we were working on it. And our the guy that was doing our flow lead, basically telling us, you know, where we we're supposed to be and when and everything. was like, are you okay? And I'm like, well, not really. I just had to peel myself up off the floor. <laughs> Landed on my ass, I was flat on my back. Because my knee gave out on me. All I was doing was turn the chair around. You know. It wasn't like I was trying to walk or go anywhere. It just boom on the floor. Well I made it through the rest of that row. By this point everybody else was coming over into the area. And he's like. Um, follow me. I'll get you someplace and. I'll have you do something a little bit different. Fine. So I've got the chair and I'm following him. And next thing I know, 
bam, I'm on the floor again because my knee gave out. This time I landed directly on both knees. Oh my God, that hurt so bad. Okay. I'm not a small person, as you can see. And all of my weight come, bam, right down on my knees. Not good when they were already hurting. And of course, it jolted whatever was going on in my hip, made it hurt more. Pain shot through my back, the whole bit, right? I managed to climb up onto the chair, and he's like, just stay put. Don't go anywhere, stay put. I'm like, okay. And he, I did the couple, it was a super, super light wall. I did the couple things that were there because it was all pretty much within reach except for like a couple tote bags up top. Got it done. Two segments of that wall. No problem. He brought me some papers and showed me how to do this other function, which I had never done, but it was pretty easy stuff. Basically, anything that we have that's no tag or doesn't have a tag on it, Walmart has to make an inventory label and put on a sheet of paper for that department. And then at the end, we just scan it all through. Anything that doesn't scan is considered not on file. And then that has to go into under a different number. And we put those on file and move on. So that's what he had me doing. And then we had to move from the women's department to the men's department. I got... I was able to kind of move a little bit by then. Not real fast. I was super slow using the chair as a walker. Trying to get over there without killing myself. Without falling again. So that's two times I actually fell. Like full-fledged fall. In the store. Get it all done. Get me clocked out and everything. And... My son works with me, which is awesome. I used him basically then as a support to get out to the van. Got to the van and really had a hell of a time getting up in it because you got to step up. Well, I couldn't put my weight on my left leg because I was afraid my knee was going to buckle. And it nearly did like three different times when I was trying to get in the van. My right leg is the one I use to push up, right? But I need a little oomph from the left. Couldn't oomph from the left. Managed to pull myself up into the van. I'm like, don't stop anywhere because I can't get out. <laughs> we got back to the Walmart where they pick us up. Um, we used to go to a park and ride and cars were getting broken into and catalytic converters were being stolen. One girl's car was completely vandalized, shredded. So they were like, yeah, we're not going there anymore. Now we're in a Walmart where they've got cameras and we, I, can, I always park under the one light in the parking lot. So we were parked there and they went to drop us off and I got out and had my son walk me over to the car. I got it unlocked because once I was there, I could hold on to the car, right? Tried to get in and I drive a Jeep, a Jeep Wrangler. And I bet you can see where this is going. It's up high and hard to get into, right? I managed, I was holding on to the door. I got my foot up in, my right foot up in, went to pull myself in. My knee gave out and I went <clears throat> onto the pavement. Um, you can't really see it now. I'm a little bit scraped up. There's a little bit there. It's pretty well healed by now. It's been almost a week. Um, but it looked a lot worse on Thursday, all shredded. And I'm laying flat on my back on, in the parking lot with my foot up in the air, my right foot up in the air, because it had gotten caught up in the steering wheel as I fell. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> you know, just trying to get in the car. So I'm just laying there. And, you know, several of the people that rode in the van back with us came over. Are you okay? And I'm like, obviously not. I'm laying here on the ground. I said, yeah, I was trying to get in my car, and my knee gave out again, and next thing I knew, I'm laying here. <laughs> my foot hit the steering wheel, and now here I am. <laughs> well, managed to get see, sitting up, and then managed to pull myself back up to standing. The van driver, oh, bless his heart, he was panicking. He wasn't real sure what to do. 
Well, I wouldn't say he's panicking. He's, he's a very stoic person. But I could tell he was very worried. He's like, are you okay? Are you sure you're okay? Are you sure you can drive? Do you need somebody to take you home? Do you need to call somebody? You know? My my right knee's fine. It's my driving knee. I can drive now that I'm in the car. I had to have help getting in the car, obviously. Um, we found a different way to, to get in instead of my usual way of putting the foot in first and then go, getting in. Um, I found that I could actually kind of almost sit on the seat and slide myself in. I kind of pull myself in a little bit and then I had to have to have somebody swing my right or my left leg in because whatever reason, it's really hard to lift my foot. So whatever's going on with my hip and knee combination, I could barely lift my foot, but we got in, got home while well, we swung through McDonald's because I wasn't it got to be able to cook, that's for sure. So my son ran in, got stuff, got home, was able to get out, forgot that there's a step up into the house. I'm like, well, how the hell am I going to get in the house? <laughs> but I managed to pull myself up into the house without too much trouble. I mean, holding on to the door frame for dear life, I got up in the house. Managed to get in the bathroom, in and out. That's the hardest thing I found is actually getting in and out of the bathroom because trying to stand up from a seated position is really difficult if you don't have something to grab hold to of. This is where those bars in a handicap stall are so useful because, you know, in the one Walmart, the one I fell in, I was able to use that to pull myself up, right? I don't have anything like that in my bathroom. The closest thing I have I have the toilet paper holder, which is loose, and I have the sink, and the sink is just enough out of reach to make it very difficult, but that's what I've been using to pull myself up, because I don't have enough strength in my knee to push. Anyway, bathroom is interesting. <laughs> I can't, still can't get in the shower, but at least I can you know, stand at the sink and, and clean myself up. I finally did today because I was like, oh, I can't stand myself. Being that, you know, you can't really maneuver very easy, you know. Anyway, got home, got in bed, you know, the usual ice and all that, elevate it, just stay off of it. I knew the basics, what to do for it, you know, stay off of it. Ice, elevation, ibuprofen, you know. So put out the word on Friday, hey, I need some help. Can anybody drive me to the ER? Because I didn't think the urgent care would be able to do much for me. I thought the ER would have better chance at having the equipment and things necessary. So I get to, all day Friday, I'm trying to get help, and I can't get anybody. Everybody's like, oh, we live so far away. We can't. Anybody who offered. was like, but we live too far away. We would gladly do it, but we live too far away. Well, yeah. So a couple of them lived in freaking England. I live in Ohio. Um, Yeah, you're not going to fly from England, rent a car just to drive me to the ER. That'd be stupid. The one place, it's called Need a Lift specializes in taking people to and from doctor's appointments and stuff. Um, yeah, they didn't have anything open until Tuesday because of the holiday. <sighs> Which, what the hell is going on now? Okay, my computer just went nuts. I don't know what you all got to see, but it I saw me frozen with my mouth wide open, and then it jumped, showed me a picture of Netflix and then jumped back. So hopefully you didn't see all that. You just saw me, but it was very bizarre. Anyway, <laughs> um, couldn't get anybody on Saturday either. So because of the holiday and the place couldn't do till Tuesday and then, yeah, I couldn't get anybody Friday or Saturday. I was moving around a lot better on Sunday. So we took the chance and I managed to get in the car my son had to help me with my foot, of course, because I still couldn't lift my foot up enough to get it in the car. He had to help me with that. Um, but we got 
to the ER, wandered in on my own power, holding on to him, and they got me all checked in. They x-rayed it. Good news, there's nothing broken, but you're going to need to see the orthopedic, uh, wait, go to the orthopedic department over in Gallup Bliss, which is not exactly close. It's like almost 40 miles or 40, 45 miles, something like that from here. So it's going to be a drive and I get to do that next Wednesday. So I got a whole week <laughs> before I get to go do that. Um, they just want to make sure I didn't damage the soft tissue like ligaments and all that, which I get that. I mean, it still hurts, but they gave me the crutches that you saw and they wrapped me up with a bandage. They were going to put me in an immobilizer thingy, stabilizer, immobilizer, whatever, one of those big bulky things. And I'm like, I got to be able to get in and out of my car. And I won't be able to do that if I can't move my leg at all. So we opted for the bandage, which is working. As long as I keep that on, I feel like it's got a little more stability. I feel a little more sturdy. I've got the um, crutches to help me maneuver a little bit. So now my son is getting ready to go to work today. I'm going to be by myself for Thursday and Friday. Tonight, Wednesday night, and then Thursday and Friday. He'll be back Friday night. Um, so that'll be interesting. Although it won't be that much different from what I've been doing. Because he hides upstairs. Unless I ye like yell and scream and carry on until he hears me and wanders down. Or I like do Facebook Messenger <laughs> to send him a text. Yeah. Gotta love cell phones, right? But anyway, that's not even what this video is supposed to be about. This video is my Bath and Body Works haul. This is two different orders that have both finally come in. Um, this is my first order, this little box. And then I got a great big box that's got my second order. So we'll start with this. They had a sale on the um, hand soap, the liquid hand soap. And they were all $3.25. Uh, yeah, they're all like three twenty-five because they're normally seven fifty. So I bought a whole bunch of them, <laughs> not knowing what any of the things smell like because I can't physically go into a Bath and Body Works store because the amount of scent is so overpowering that I get nauseous and I, you know, and I sometimes can end up with a migraine out of it. We don't do that, but I bought a whole bunch of them that sounded like things I would enjoy. Make all your summer dreams come true. A dreamy blend of salted pear, fresh nectarine, and seaside lily. Ooh, that sounds good. Midsummer dream. They have a, a scent. A new scent. Um, it's not a celebration without a gift from Bath and Body Works. Blah, blah, blah. The, this little card is their little promo thingy. Okay, so this first one I pulled out is Warm Vanilla Sugar. I absolutely love the scent of vanilla. So, yeah, this is, this is going to be a good one. Matter of fact, I've been using a um, body wash that I found at the dollar store of all places. Oh. Oh. That's nice. I don't know that I'm smelling sugar necessarily, but I am smelling some vanilla. And then that clean soap scent. So, yeah, it's a... They're all the gentle foaming hand soaps. So they're all going to be in these little bottles. Um, let's see. What's this say on the back? Creamy vanilla and sparkling sugar crystals, what it's supposed to smell like. Okay. I guess that's what it smells like. But anyway, as I was saying, at the dollar store, I found a little set. It's vanilla and sugar. Yeah. It smells really nice. Um, and it's got a little body wash and a little uh, lotion. Which is perfect to throw in my bag when we go out of town for the jobs. Okay, so the next scent is Ghoul Friends. I like the sugar skull on the front. There you go. You can kind of see the detail better there. 
And this is Dark Strawberry, Ghostly Peony, and Spine Chilling Citrus. If it, I don't like any of these scents, then everybody knows what they're getting for Christmas. <laughs> I don't smell strawberry. I definitely smell orange. The citrus notes are there. I don't, I can't really tell strawberry. But I love the label, and I just thought it sounded like it would be one I like. Okay, so then I got two of the same scent because they had different labels. And since I collect vampires and bats, I got vampire blood. Now this is red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. I'm not sure which design I like better. I kind of like this one um, because the label covers two sides and you've got all the little bats. I kind of think that's cool looking. It's probably the more um, oh, what's the word I want? I almost want to say posh. More not sophisticated necessarily. More like special occasion looking versus this, which is more everyday looking. I, I just think that bat is adorable. I love the expression on his face. Okay, this one's got plastic around the little hump thing. Interesting, it's taller and thinner. Is it the same amount? Eight ounces? 8.75 ounces. Ooh, it's got a little bit less in it. And it probably was one of the more expensive ones. The lids are tight. That's good, I guess. It didn't leak on during shipment. I can't really tell what that scent is. It's not what I think of when I think berry, and it's not what I think of when I think jasmine. I don't know. It's not bad. It's very light. It's a very light scent. This one, pumpkin pecan waffle. This looks like it may have leaked a little bit. Maple syrup, golden waffle, and pumpkin spice. Because, you know, it's fall. It's time for pumpkin spice. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, that smells like breakfast. You can smell the waffles. You can smell the maple. and that It leaked on me. I'm going to smell like Bath and Body Works before I'm done. This is called Sunshine and Lemons. I was expecting it to be a light lemon scent. It says Yuzu, Grapefruit, and Sun Rays. Made with vitamin E, shea extract, aloe, and natural essential oils. So I was expecting a lemon scent. Not sure what exactly yuzu is. Is that like a Japanese lemon? I know it's a Japanese fruit. I can't tell. I can't tell what that is. But to me, if you're going to call it sunshine and lemons, then it should smell like lemons. I got crazy ideas, I know. This one, Let's Get Nuts, Cozy Vanilla Cream. I don't remember ordering this one, but Vanilla Frosting, Sweet Cream, and Vanilla Bean. Or Whipped Frosting, Sweet Cream, and Vanilla Bean. Better smell like Vanilla Frosting, then. I don't remember ordering this scent, but I did remember I ordered at least one other vanilla. Yeah, there's a little bit of vanilla there. Not real strong. Mm. 
And last but not least, we have Vanilla Cloud. This is kind of pretty. It's hard to see. It's got like kind of a gray and white marbly looking, which I guess is supposed to um, make you think of clouds. Uh, whipped vanilla, apple blossom, and sandalwood. The front says white barn. Gentle foaming hand soap. Is that what a white barn is supposed to smell like? Vanilla, sandalwood, and apple blossom? Again, I can't really tell what the scent is. It, it doesn't, it's such a lightly scented. I don't smell apple, I don't smell vanilla. I don't know. I'd say overall, some of the scents are really, really what I was expecting. And a couple of them, I'm a little disappointed. I was expecting them to be a little stronger. I think that that's my disappointment. I was expecting it to be a little stronger. Maybe, you know, when they're actually being used as soap, maybe they, the water brings up the scent more. Okay, this one, um, they had a deal. That's the same card that was in the other one. Um, where if you bought any item, it was a one day only thing. You bought any item, you got a free candle. And the candle was white pumpkin, I think. It was a, it was a newer scent. And, you know, the candle itself is worth 25 bucks. So I was like, well, hell yeah, give me a free $25 candle, you know? Because I had been looking at this thing since last year. This. Is the back candle holder. Which is designed to hold... Of all things, the three wick candle. And I was like, well, shoot, you're telling me that I really do need this bat. It was like a $35, I think it was like $34.95 for the holder. And then I get um, white pumpkin scented candles. Gendered white pumpkin, caramel glaze. Warm blended spices with natural essential oil. And it's pretty. I mean, look at that. That's gorgeous. It's white with kind of a gold. The pumpkins are in gold to match the lid. Lid says White Barn. That must be the company that made it. Anyway, it's a three wick candle. What did it say the scent was? Gingered white pumpkin, caramel glaze, warm blended spice. I don't know. I can't smell anything. Maybe my nose is broken. I just don't smell anything. So there we go. It sits in my little bat holder. So I was pretty excited about that. I mean... I couldn't pass up a free $25 candle. So that brought down this down to a really reasonable. So I was like, oh, that's awful expensive for that candle holder, but I really want it, but it's so expensive. Well, yeah, throw in a free candle. I can get it now. <laughs> so that's my big haul from Bath and Body Works. I saw a couple other things I'd kind of like to get at some point, but right now, since I am now off work this week, and next week is an off week, unless they find us assists with another crew, um, you know, two weeks of no pay is going to hurt, so we are going to slow the spending down. And of course, all this happened 
after I did crazy stuff like order um, the September Owl Crate because it was it's the Halloween edition. Um, the book sounded really good, but I, I don't know what it is. But the description sounded right up my alley, kind of a dark gothic story. And of course, you know all the Halloweeny stuff to go with it, and in the goodies. So I I need to remember to cancel that before it renews. Um, I've got the rest until the end of the month to do that. And then I ordered an Al Junior box, Al Crate Junior box that was from March, I think. It had all the elephant stuff in it. Ordered that because my niece absolutely loves elephants and she's the perfect age for Al Crate Junior. She's, let's see, she'll be 11 this year. So yeah, she's the perfect age for that. And she's just fanatical about elephants. And then I saw this thing advertised on uh, Facebook where you could order a bracelet. They had four or five different designs and one of them was an elephant and part of the money goes to save the elephants and um, they'll give her a code so that she can track a specific elephant in the wild, which is kind of cool. And, and since she's such an elephant fanatic, I thought, yeah, this is a really neat gift to give her. So she's taken care of. I won't have anything for anybody else, but I've ordered stuff for her. Um, you know, after spending all that money, then I get hurt and then I'm going to have two weeks with no pay, <laughs> which kind of sucks. Um, anyway, whatever. September's kind of a slowdown month. There's not as many jobs. And then you know, October's going to be slow. And then we're off November, December. But we're, we are allowed to apply for unemployment for November, December since it's a layoff. So, I'll at least be getting some income and won't be completely broke. But maybe during November, December, I can get my freaking knee fixed. And get it healed and... Anyway. That's what's been going on in my life this week. <laughs> um, I have a couple of shirts on order that are on the way. Uh, oh! This is probably highly inappropriate. Definitely not safe for work. But I did get this from Wish. I think it was... By the time it was all said and done, it was like three bucks. I got a, a cushion cover. Which now I need to find a pillow that's the right size for it. It's too small to fit a regular pillow. But since it's rectangular, it's not going to fit any of the pillow forms I've got. So... <laughs> I'm sure you could read it. That's how I feel in the mornings. I kind of say that to my alarm when it goes off. I don't say the good morning part. <laughs> anyway. Uh, that's all the goodies I've got right now. I'll be having some more things coming in. Um, there's going to be at least one more Manga Spice coming. I'm a little confused what's going on there. I got an email from PayPal saying that Manga Spice canceled my recurring payment. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on. I think it's because they raised their price by a dollar. And so they probably got rid of it, but I never got any notification from Manga Spice about it. So I'm a little confused, a little concerned. I guess I need to contact them and say, hey, what's going on? Also, the month I was supposed to get four books, I only got three. Anyway, I need to contact them and be like, what's up? Help. Fix things, please. Because I really like that subscription. That, that one makes me really happy. But I should I have one coming yet. Because they did run it through. And then it was like a week later is when they canceled my PayPal thing. So I don't know. I got one paid for. So there's at least one more coming. Um, I ought to be here... Probably this coming week. I'll send my son to the post office on Saturday when after he's home. 
because he won't get home till late Friday. So I'll send him on Saturday to go see if it came. Anyway, 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 anyway. I'm doing it again. Anyway. Uh, that's all I have for today. Remember to do all the fun youtube -y things. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Uh, ring the bell icon if you want to be notified of future uploads. And I guess that's it for now. I will, or you will see me in the next video, hopefully. Um, stay safe. Don't get hurt. Because it really sucks having a busted knee. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye.